Hey everyone, welcome back for more XO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss the top heroes and teams as of March 7, 2021. But before that, if you want updated XO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, before we start, I'd like to invite you all to, to join our Discord server for XO's Heroes. So now we begin with, um, with our top tier heroes for february 21 this is just actually a recap of what has happened two weeks ago so basically these are the top heroes that we have so you'll actually see a very big difference with the next one um as you can see this is as of march 7 the glaring difference here is iris has actually dropped six places okay she's now at seven but let's get through the top first before we go to number 10. So we have FC Rachel at 56%. He, uh, he has actually gained two spots. For our second one, which is FC April at 54%, uh, actually didn't move at number two. So basically they will go hand in hand with the Nombe. That is why they are top one and top two. And we have actually number three, which is FC Tantalo, which has seen a increase in its usage especially uh, not only with uh, not only with greenland teams but also usage for um for north Von frosty as well and i think i saw some usage as well with with uh, with the nombi teams so basically tantalo has been the overall you know a very versatile hero that uh he has become in terms of being a all-around uh, hero in most of the nations that we have in exos heroes so our fourth one would be fc zeon so he uh, he is as actually at 34 percent so he hasn't moved by the way forgot to mention tantalo actually dropped two spots he was before at number five but at number five right now is actually one of the changes that has made recently because of the lesser usage of iris FC Baraka actually had a chance to replace her in most lineups for the Nombe. That is why he is here at uh, 32% at 5th place. So he's a new entry. For our 6th, we have here Rudley at 28% and gains 1 spot. And as I've said earlier, at number 7, FC Iris has dropped a lot. And not even, even FC Shell is not even in the top 10. So basically, FC Iris is, is at 26%. Uh, and I, I'm not sure if she, she will continue to drop in the next few weeks. But she's trending going downwards. Or she might actually disappear from the top tier heroes in PvP for the first time for the next one. So please um, look forward to that one after two weeks. So next would be 8th would be FC Battery at 26%. So she hasn't moved from the 8th spot. Your ninth hero is FC Annie. So again, also FC Annie is at 24%. She hasn't moved from ninth. But on the 10th spot, we have Garf. And Garf is actually has dropped uh, four spots actually from number seven. No, sorry. It's actually a, 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 a drop of three. So from number seven. So, sorry. Um, Garf actually was previously in sixth. That is why he dropped to number 10, a drop of negative 4, so at 22%. So basically, you've seen um, the effect on on Lenombe, on how they're defining the meta, and more or less how they're dominating it as well. So honorable mentions at number 11, I just have to mention this because these four FCs have are tied at 20% usage. So you have FC Valentina, FC Shufraken, FC Jinai, and FC Morris. So Morris as well has seen more action because of the some of the teams are not using FC Iris anymore for the Nombe. That is why some of them are using FC Baraka or FC Morris. And also, um, North Von Frosty is actually no surprise here at the door of the top 10 with FC Valentina and FC Shufraken actually uh, gaining... Um, momentum and increase in usage as well so for our top teams in pvp this is this was what uh the sorry this was the picture 
two weeks ago during February 21, 2021. But for now, only actually two teams are dominating PvP. You heard me right. Only two teams are are dominating PvP uh, in terms of um, usage. So the first team that we have here is, again, you've seen their FC Tantalo. Dorka, FC Shufraken, FC Valentina, and FC Bathory. So they have uh, six usage um, out of the top 50. And the next used team would be FC Boris, FC April, FC Rachel, and FC Baraka, and FC Zium. So if you can note, um, they have swapped out Mana and, um, and uh, Nullify Barrier for more firepower so the game right now is dealing more damage and probably gaining more defense so these two teams are really in contrast of each other in terms of gameplay so Linombe would be fast high hitting damage um as far as um what they call this as far as north one frosty they're more of a tempo a controlling of the tempo type of team and uh, more on taking out each opponent one at a time. As long as they can survive the initial onslaught of the Nombe, they will be fine. So basically, you have here eight teams at two usage. So I will put them all in the comment section below. Okay. So basically, for my final thoughts, most of them I've mentioned already. So mana support heroes are going out. So they're no longer in fashion. They are they are they are actually dropping from the top 10. First it was FC Shell. And now you've seen Iris dipping in, in usage since last week. So she's actually fallen from the top spot for the top hero. And I'm sure I have an idea that she will continue to drop from the top 10 in the next two weeks. So I don't want to bet against Iris, but if you can see the trend, this is happening right now. So again, mana support is out. Pe um, players right now are prioritizing damage or other utilities in terms of uh, their heroes or additional damage. So again, they have been put out of the game for now. This is just for now, okay? So next would be Linombe solidifies its hold as one of the top teams. So adding more five power. So the additional five power that I am talking about again is either FC Baraka or FC Morris in place of FC Iris. So again, both um, both North, North Von Frosty and Ilombe have done away with um, with uh, no FC Iris. So I'll probably try this as well with my Wasted Red team um, and see what happens. So we'll see in the coming, you know, in, in, in the next week after we have tag PVP this week. Okay. And last is North von Frosty gets some needed reinforcement from Tantalo. So again, Tantalo has been very versatile being able to, to go from one nation to other. He's actually like a mercenary that everybody wants to hire. So you have their, his own nation, which is Greenland, um, Lenombe, uh, North One Frosty, I haven't, you know, seen much um, use of him in terms of Wasted Red because Garf is there. But, you know, you can never tell. We'll see. We'll see if that happens eventually. So basically, guys, you've seen the, the changes in PvP. You've seen um, how it has morphed every two weeks. And let's look forward to what happens next week. So... Um, don't forget, two weeks from now, I'll be dropping another video for top heroes and teams for PvP. Again, this is uh, based on the Asian server. So I forgot to mention that um, a while ago. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for, um, for, what, for tuning in to this video. I hope this has helped you actually build your future rosters. Also, take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out.